Brigadier General Anthony C. McAuliffe made history with his famous one-word reply, nuts. Although the siege of Bastogne was broken on December 26, 1944, intense fighting continued until mid-January 1945 as Allied units reduces, reduced Nazi gains in the Ardennes salient. Attacking into the heart of Germany through the Ruhr Valley, the 101st Airborne Division pursued, retreating German Florida, Central and South America. Additional elements of the division participated in fighting forest fires through western United States. In the wake of 9-11 terrorist attacks, elements of the division quickly deployed to protect susceptible And our third and last jumper coming in today is Staff Sergeant Jared Goff. Kevin Presgrave will be presenting a division flag that he jumped in to Major General John F. Campbell. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Staff Sergeant Jared Goff. Major General John F. Campbell relinquish his command of the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault in Fort Campbell to make Army retired. Lieutenant General Daniel J. Petrosky, the United States Army retired and Mrs. Petrosky, Guffey, civilian aide emeritus to the Secretary of the Army for Kentucky West of the Army for Kentucky North. Mr. Jack Turner, civilian aide to the Secretary of the Army for have gone before us to prepare the way of victory over all the oppression and evil. These warrior presence always be with the most honorable division as it faces its rendezvous. Throughout history, commanders have used patriotic songs. Take your post. Sound, order arms. Please be seated. Sound, order arms, and parade rest. In spring of 1945, the Screaming Eagles liberated Landsberg concentration camp and Hitler's mountaintop retreat in Berchtesgaden. At the end of World War II in Europe, relegated the 101st Airborne to occupation duties in Germany, Austria, and France. The 101st Airborne Division regained its wings as a full-fledged Mark time.
the senior enlisted advisor to the division commander. The passing of the color symbolizes the transfer of command, responsibility, and authority from the old commander to the new, demonstrating to the soldiers of the unit that Major General Campbell has passed the mantle of leadership to Major General McConville, and with this passes the loyalty of the soldiers. By authority of paragraph 2-3, officers and soldiers of the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault and Fort Campbell. By Staff Sergeant Officers and Soldiers of the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault and Fort Campbell. By Specialist Dustin Hinckley from HHB 101st. Great Division to General Jim McConville. The Army's strength of our nation draws this strong community leaders elected officials from the Clarksville and Hopkinsville and surrounding areas, as well as from the state system, and my gratitude to the family members and the guests of the Campbells and the McConvilles. Mr. and Mrs. Campbell, John's parents, you did very and the many, many more accomplishments to come. Thank you, and we're so great that you could be here today to share this day with them. JC and Ann. as well as your families and supporting civilians for what you do for our nation every single day. Please join me in a round of applause for these great heroes. First Airborne Division Air Assault in Fort Campbell, Major General James C. McConville. Good morning, uh, Secretary McHugh. Now approaching the reviewing stand is the 2nd Battalion, 327th Infantry Regiment, No Slack. Commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Brian P. Sullivan from Arlington, Virginia, and Sergeant Major Anthony. Right. 